there is now a consensus of member states that the Security Council must be reformed and there is a consensus about all member states that the key aspect of that reform is to have two African members as permanent members of the Security Council. And on the other hand, many decisions were taken in relation to the capacity to deepen our cooperation with the African Union in areas like prevention, mediation, peace, peace building, and the capacity to act together to address the multiple conflicts that today the African continent, as the whole world, unfortunately, are dealing with. The international financial architecture must be corrected and must be corrected to give more voice and more power to developing countries in general, of course, African countries in particular, and to mobilize much more resources, the SDG stimulus, to reduce the debt and to create the conditions for sustainable de development and for climate action in mitigation and adaptation to the benefit of developing countries. And I hope that now it will be possible to implement those measures because they are essential for justice in relation to the African continent.